Coventry and Warwickshire. 17 minutes past eight. I'm aware that it's half a term at the moment, so if you've got kids or grandkids uh, listening near you at the moment, you may want to divert their attention because we are talking about something very serious now. Uh, the NSPD is calling for the compulsory team of what a healthy relationship is across all schools after a horrifying case where a girl from in South Warwickshire was forced to work as a child prostitute in Coventry. This week, two men were sentenced to a total of 22 years in prison. 24-year-old Martin Cantle of Radford Road, Coventry, and Thomas Entwistle, who's 26 years old, and is from Dog Lane in Napton, Southern, were both found guilty of controlling child prostitution and supplying controlled drugs. Well, Peter Tugoose is from the NSPCC in Tree. Good morning, Peter. Morning, Chris. Just a horrifying case. Be awful. Are these incidents becoming common? I think we're sort of reported more on it. I think this is the key to it, that, that last we are sort of all getting together and we're saying, well, I mean, it's public, it's parents, it's school, and it's family. So we're all getting a little bit better at that recognising this matter and that uh, helping children to report this matter. I mean, you know, what can we to prevent incidences like this from happening again? You know, what should we as parents, grandparents do? What is that? It must be preventable, mustn't it? Well, I think firstly, it's really important to recognise the strength of this young person, which is still unable to come forward and report her abuse. Um, as I said, I think we all have a responsibility to report that to the top of the child abuse. But parents and carers, uh, one of our campaigns, Share Aware, was really to help parents and carers uh, become more aware about the risks that their children are exposed to in terms of online grooming. Now, if we don't know in this case that that's why the, the issue is around this sort of young person. But we do know that it's being used incredibly successfully by people who want to exploit children. So what we'd like to do is to try and make parents and carers more able and more aware of what their children are doing online and how they can help them make that safer. But Peter, when I, you know, I've tried this with my own kids. I've got a 16-year-old and a 14-year-old. And the minute I try and say to them, you know, what are you looking at online? You know, they either sort of, you know, completely standoffish, you know, or they lie. And it's so difficult to try and, you know, get the tablet off them or their phone to see, you know, what exactly are they looking at? It's incredibly difficult, uh, particularly for us of a certain age now, um, where maybe our young people are more savvy uh, in terms of the technical aspects of onboard abuse. But really what we're trying to do is, uh, another campaign was about listening to yourself, which is specifically aimed at young people. And I suppose it is to help parents and carers communicate with their young people. So that really is asking the young person to sort of think of what are they actually doing when they're sharing sort of personal information with people. They don't know online. Mm. What are the what are the what are the feeling what are the risks of sharing images with people the other. Uh, there are two very short video clips on the uh, the self campaign and they're really good that speak directly to young people and it really helps them sort of understand what risk they're taking. Okay, and so where can we get information on this? Where can we see uh, this information, Peter, so we can all become more informed? If you go onto the NSPCC website, um, uh, and any any Google for the NSPCC would put that up, so I know it's difficult for people to uh, remember website numbers, mm. etc. But just go onto it, and all of that information is available to the public, uh, to children, to adults. There are various versions of every kind of campaign that we run, so they're accessible to children and adults. I think really combining those two things together as well also helps parents and carers have those conversations with their children. Okay, thank you very much, Peter Tugoose. It's from the NSPCC in Coventry. Uh, do access uh, their website and their Facebook. But if you do want a helpline number, that number is 0808 800 500. That's 0808 800 so it's uh, hopefully that can help you or someone you know is affected by that that's 20